welcome to the r and Property Podcast with the real estate girl, Denise Haynes. In our podcast, we talk about all things real estate in rural New South Wales. We discuss a diverse range of topics to do with real estate, whether it is about making the tree change, doing a reno or getting to know our awesome country community. If ever you are in the area, please pop by and meet our team. r and Property are an amazing all-women real estate agency, working within the Stroud, Gloucester and Bulladilla areas. Now for our podcast. Hi and welcome to podcast number four. Today I wanted to focus on putting more money in your pocket when you're selling your property. So this is just some selling tips that we've put together for a quick and well-priced sale. Now, firstly, the most important thing is presentation, 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 presentation. I cannot express to you enough how important this is to a sale and a great price. Good presentation is not only easy on the eye, but it also leaves the prospective buyer feeling as though there isn't too much to do. If a property is poorly presented with daggy dated furniture, needs painting and even minor repairs, your prospective purchaser may be left thinking the property needs updating and a fortune to be spent on it. A well presented home is also a good blank canvas, usually allowing your buyer to feel uncluttered and unstressed enough to visualise their furniture in this home. The proof is in the results. Why do you think Selling Houses Australia is so successful? Just on a side note, R&R Property have worked with Selling Houses Australia. We had a very poorly presented home which had been tenanted for years and years and years without any money being spent on it. We tried to sell it. We'd had numerous inspections over quite a long time and just could not sell it. It was a good, solid, big family home. Selling Houses Australia came in, did a makeover, and it sold straight away. We were actually the fastest sale in the history of the show. So to me, that just tells us absolutely everything we need to know. Now, lawns and gardens, please have these tidy. The lawns need to be kept constantly mowed. Any potholes, bare patches need to be filled and grassed over. Water if necessary. Garden should be weeded and preferably no fuss. High maintenance gardens can definitely be a purchaser turn off, but again, presentation is important as your lawns and gardens provide the framework for your home street appeal. Doggy number twos also need to be cleaned up and preferably your pets restrained or even better visiting elsewhere for an inspection. Not everyone appreciates your dog's friendliness or you know grumpiness as well now get cracking and start packing clutter can be a major killer for your home sale so why not take the opportunity upon listing your property to cull anything you haven't used for a long time or start packing away decorations and furniture that you don't use on a regular basis have a garage sale and make some money Self-storage is always a good option or, if not appropriate, store it in a shed. A clear and uncluttered home is always a pleasure to show. Clients can walk clearly through the property and it gives off a more light and spacious feel, making the home seem even larger. Now this one's important too. Go and have a coffee. While the inspection is going on, please go and do something else. So. Vacate the property for the sales inspection. We sometimes have vendors who insist upon staying in the home for the viewing, quite often interrupting, trying to do our job for us whilst we are showing the clients through. Now, although we realise that the vendor is only trying to help, it is actually at a huge disadvantage to themselves. The prospective purchaser will usually feel uncomfortable, not inspecting as thoroughly, not openly asking questions or commenting as freely as what they would if you're not there. This can be detrimental because if we are unaware of any objections, we cannot try to overcome them. So please go and have a coffee up the street if you have to or anywhere else that you need to be. Just go and do it. Now, I like this one. Listen to your agent. 
If your property is reportedly receiving lots of views online but no inspections are being booked, your agent will possibly be contacting you to advise that the problem could be price. Although we always like to test the market, we also have to listen to it loud and clear. An agent can usually tell within the first three to four weeks if the property's price has missed the mark. At this point, you need to listen to your agent's advice and reconsider listed price. Again, this comes into play with presentation as well. So if your agent is telling you that, you know, the property isn't presenting well, please listen because that is really important. Overall, everybody involved dreams of an easy and speedy sale. And if vendors are prepared to work hard hand in hand with their chosen agent by doing the prep work to present as best as possible, then the odds are that it will flow onto a clean and quick sale. Happy days. Thank you, everyone. I hope that helps and I hope you've enjoyed this podcast. Thank you. If you would like to find out more about r r Property and the Stroud, Gloucester and Buller Dealer areas, whether buying or selling, contact us on 02 4994 5766 or via our website at www.rnrproperty.com.au. On behalf of Denise Haynes and the team, thank you for joining us and please remember to subscribe to our podcasts.